Hey guys, so today we're going to look at Ready Player Me, which is a new and free online software for creating avatars, and you can use them throughout the metaverse. In this series, we're going to use them to create an avatar for Unreal and retarget animations, but you could use this for a whole slew of hubs, all listed here, and the full list you can find over here. So I'm going to go to my avatars. I have a bunch that I've already created, but I'm going to go ahead and make a new one. So I'll make a new avatar. For this series, we're going to want a full body. You can choose your body type. Go with feminine today. So you can take a photo and kind of do a selfie avatar, but I'm going to go without a photo. I'm going to start with this base. I'm just going to pick this first one right here. I'm going to go through all of these settings pretty quickly, um, but I encourage you to go in and try them all out. So we can change the shape of the face. We can go in and change the eye shape. We can change the nose. We can change the lips. We can change the outfit, although I really like this outfit, although I think my last avatar has this outfit. So, okay, that's a fun look. Great. We can change the hair if we want. Cool. And then if you want any facial hair, we can change the eyes. Oh, that's kind of fun. Of course, we have eyebrows. You can change glasses if you want makeup. They have all sorts of facial markings, sort of face paint. We have different masks. You'll notice this is from Dune. They're doing a partnership with the movie right now, so you'll find some Dune assets in there. And then we also have hats. Let's try this with the hat. I've noticed sometimes the hat does take away from the hair, so that's up to you. This one, you'll still see the hair. And suddenly I'm blonde. Okay, all right, cool. You can customize this to your heart's content. Once you're done, you're gonna enter the hub. So now we have our new avatar here in our hub. In the next video, we're gonna convert this to an FBX. In order to do that, we first wanna grab the GLB file. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And then in our next video, we'll convert this into FBX using Blender.